This video isn't really going to compare Metal Gear with Splinter Cell. They're two totally different games, although they are both stealth. I don't think Splinter Cell is ever going to have the fan base that Metal Gear has got. We know that. The thing that Splinter Cell does better than Metal Gear, probably the controls. They're easier to master. It is first person. The controls are beautiful. And the stealth action is really good. Not a game I remember greatly, like I remember the Metal Gears, because they sort of connect with you in an emotional way. But this box set here, it's going to be a great game. If I remember rightly, the first two Splinter Cells are really good. Konomi, they make some of the most emotional games I find. Anyway, this video is Metal Gear 4, a game I'm playing now. Warfare. A 10 out of 10 game for sure by anyone's standards. Although the controls are fairly hard to pick up. But as I said, I'm not really going to compare anything to Metal Gear, especially not Splinter Cell. You don't trust me? It seems to have such a huge fan base, and the games are always amazing quality. It's about the story and the actual emotion of the characters. It's really amazing every time. And we all love Metal Gear. We love Solid Snake. And I'm playing this game again, Metal Gear 4. Beautiful game. Obviously not part of the box set. This is this generation. One of the very best games of this generation, actually. Looking forward to Metal Gear 3 Snake Eater. For me, the best game. One of the best games of all time. Seeing that in HD, with the controls working, that can be the best game in the world, as far as I'm concerned. Here, one isn't in it for some reason. I've said before, but still, the other three games can be amazing. I completed every Metal Gear. Love the game. How may I help you, please? It is much cheaper than your current dealings. <laughs>